My friends, hope you had a great week and are jumping into the weekend. I uh, wanted to make just a real quick TA update as far as what I'm looking for in AMC. I'm going to keep this relatively short because, to be honest with you, go back and watch you know the videos I had during the week. They almost played out perfectly. Um, so what's going on with AMC right now is pretty much exactly what I was expecting. So please go watch those videos. I just wanted to jump in here and, like I said, and make a quick little update. Um, if you haven't done so already, please follow me on Twitter, Colin underscore Gladman. Um, and you guys know the deal. This isn't financial advice for entertainment and education purposes only. You guys need to trade your plan. So looking at the chart here, I said going into this week, I think it was my cycle video that I anticipated, you know, this move down and then just kind of riveting back up and in towards the end of March before we started moving back up. That's still, as of right now, what I see happening. Uh, the reality is, my friends, is AMC is tracking the overall market. We, yes, we've had a couple of days where it hasn't been, but for the most part, AMC is tracking the overall market. So that means if that continues, we need the overall market to improve for AMC to improve. Uh, this line right here, we've talked about several times, you know, right around this 1430 range. You know, we want this uh, area to hold up. These were our big push ups that led to the June run, pretty much got through it and then rejected uh, back in January. Uh, then in March, we got rejected off of it. And then we came back up in May, got rejected off of it before, right before the end of May, beginning of June um, is when we broke through. And the reason this is going to be such solid support is because every time we came up here, you know, and we were hitting this resistance, you know, we were doing so with pretty solid volume. So that means this is going to act as big time support, which we have seen it do. Now, if I'm being as honest as I can, one thing that I don't like is, you know, pretty much every time we've come down and touched it, we've had some pretty big reactions off of it, but we are kind of consistently making some lower highs here. So definitely, if the overall market starts to recover next week, we definitely want to make sure that AMC is recovering right along with it. I think going into Monday is when they're first looking at uh, interest rate hikes. Um, I saw somebody on Twitter talking about today how they thought that might get uh, postponed just due to the Russian and Ukraine situation. And I definitely agree it's going to be interesting to watch and see. But if SPY and the overall market kind of keep tumbling, AMC is going to do the same thing. Once again, if you look at the VPVR, this is going to be, it shows you the volume that's traded in all these different regions. Um, I'm not going to go back in. You can click on the settings and add more rows to be a little bit more specific. But as you can see, right here we've had a ton of volume traded in this range right here that is why it has been acting as a very solid floor uh, please go back and watch my amc i think it's titled amc twenty dollars or ten dollars let's take a look um, and you can see where i go and i make a case for the uh, the ten dollar range um, because right here at this 950 range this is going to be the point of control so if things got really bad in the overall market a push back down to the nine to ten dollar range i would definitely Definitely be buying more shares at that point in time if we zoom all the way out to the entirety of AMC once again though like I've said multiple times it acted as solid support for about a two-year period and it's acting as solid support right now but the reality is is we are just kind of in uh, consolidation mode the volume is just absolutely nothing 28 million today 25 the day before 25 the day before 39 the day before so once again, there's no volume with these drops, so that's a good thing to see. If we look at our fibs right here from the bottom of the buy button collapse, it's the one I talk about the most. You know, we're right here. We want this 618 golden pocket area to hold. If we come down here, to the actual start of the January run from the all-time low, then that next one will be the 0.5 at 1183. But once again, my friends, we need the overall market to improve for AMC to improve. Um, you can see here, we're trading under the all the uh, EMAs. We need to start recovering some of those. And the Bollinger Bands, they are starting to get you know nice and tight, but it is starting to widen here just a little bit. But I would imagine any drop out of the Bollinger Bands, and we're going to see a push back up in here. So 
like I said, that whole video that I did through the end of March where I think we'll kind of, you know, trade up in here, start to push up, come retest before we start moving up. That's essentially what I'm going to be looking for. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Let's keep our eyes peeled on any news or anything like that. And other than that, y'all be good, be safe, and I'll see you on Monday.